What's going on, sports card collectors? It's day number three for me. I'm back on YouTube. Like I said, it's good to be back in the house. Today, I want to discuss shipping out lower-end cards that you sell on eBay or Mercari or anywhere else and shipping them out economy, also known as plain white envelope. Now, I was skeptical, skeptical about doing plain white envelope myself until I did switch over to it. I came up with a system. I've been pretty darn successful with it um, out of uh, probably three to 400 cards since I've switched. I've had three people tell me they didn't receive them. However, they never reached out to me. They went directly through eBay asking for a refund. They would always chalk those up as scams. As everybody else, if you look at my feedback, has given me positive feedback um, for how well it was packaged. So with that being said, I don't want to keep it a secret. I want to share it. Maybe you're considering that way. Um, I know that I personally received plain white envelope in these small envelopes. Uh, matter of fact, if you've noticed, you've ever gotten them in these type of envelopes here and they've been taped to death. I do not use those. Throw that right out. I actually use the number 10 envelope. Um, what I do is I use a Word document and I put the envelope in my printer as such and I print it out and just for video purposes, I did up a bogus addresses, but I put my return address up here and the person that's going here, it does look more professional. And then actually I use stamps.com so that I can make my own stamps. Uh, 55 cents is what one card is going out in this envelope. If I have two cards going out, um, I will ship that out at 70 cents. Um, and I will even go up as high as four cards, uh, which puts me up into about 85 cents. Um, I can do it securely. What I'm going to do is show you tonight how the process of how I do one card, lower end, albeit, because I'm not going to ship a higher end card. Uh, there's too much on the line for me and is the buyer as well um, in the card that they purchased. And I don't want it to ride ruined. Although I've had pretty good success, like I said, with doing it in the economy level. So what I do is I print it out, I get my customer list. So here's the envelope here. And actually, if you bear with me just a second, let me grab one more thing. I've even added to uh, as such now is I went in on Amazon and bought a cheap stamp. And what I probably will do is put a link to where I got the stamp just as such. And I will also put another stamp on the back. And there's that. So I do a do not bend. Um, like I said, I'll put a link to Amazon where I got the stamp from. I also put a link uh, as a referral. Uh, so you get a, um, a benefit out of that to stamps.com if you were considering looking to that. Um, it's just a pain for me to go to the post office or to order and wait for the stamps to come in. Plus it's discounted through stamps.com. So I suggest looking into that highly. So there's that right there. Then I would take my card, and we're going to pretend there's a card in there, it's just a top loader, and once the card's in there and it's in its penny sleeve, what I do is I take a piece of painter tape, and I will put it over the top as such to keep the card in place. Now, you can go one of two ways. I originally started off with an 8.5 by 11 piece of paper, and what I did is I folded it up into threes. Uh, what I would normally do is I would put the card right here. I put a piece of tape, piece of tape, piece of tape, and then I would fold it as such. And then I have it addressed with a little personal thank you on there. But I did find a stack of eight and a half by 14 paper that I'm not using. So this is what I've been using because now I have the four quadrants, which makes it nice too if I'm shipping more than one card. But I will put it not on the end piece here, um, but I will put it right here on the second one. And I'm actually going to tape just to show you how I do it. So I would line it up about in the middle of the piece of paper. I would do one down here. I would do one down here. And I would just do one on the side. Why not both sides? Well, it's actually going to be held on when I fold that here. And I fold it up nice and neat. Again, my little personalized thank you. I take my envelope. And we put it right into the envelope as such. And then I go ahead and peel it. I know this sounds simple and seal it up, but I'm actually not done there yet. What I actually do is I take a piece of tape, I apologize if it's real loud, and I will run a couple strips of tape, one so that it doesn't come undone on the backside, but also gives a little extra support on the backside as well. 
So I'll do one more strip right here. And I will put this one. Oh, I got dog hair. That's why I do it in my office. I try to avoid the dog hair, and the dog hair got involved tonight. Normally it does not. But anyways, so I have two strips of tape. Then I would go ahead and put my stamps.com, and then that's how I ship them out. Uh, so again, this is just shipping economy. Um, I've seen cards on eBay. They listed the card for $0.99, cents and then it's $3.99. $4.99 for shipping. That, that's, that was me starting out. Um, I wasn't getting that many sales doing that way. You'd get a couple here or there. I'll be honest with you. I don't want to spend four or five dollars shipping for a 99 cent card. Uh, I just, I just don't. Uh, and I'm sure there's a lot of other people out there that are like me as well that don't want to do that. But to spend a dollar to a dollar fifty to a dollar seventy five, maybe even two, three dollars for a card and only have to pay 85 cents. Yeah, sign me up. I know there's no tracking for it, um, but for those of us that are legitimate sports card collectors and sellers, you know, we're not out here to scam you. This this is going to get through the mail. Like I said, you can check my feedback. People have commented left and right how well it's packed. Um, whether you use the 8.5 by 11, it's still secured in there, okay? Or the 8.5 by 14 like I have in here. Um, it's a security envelope. It's a number 10. I put two strips of tape on the back just to support it some. There's even, been even times where I put a little strip right here and I fold it over so it keeps this crease here covered. Um, that just depends on the mood or the card that I'm sending it in. But honestly, um, I wouldn't suggest doing a 50 and on up or a 25 on up card and do a plain white envelope. But I have no qualms whatsoever sending it out this way. Um, to me, I feel like it's a benefit to the buyer and it's a benefit to me. Um, yes, 55 cents stamp to send out one card. I charged 85 cents, but that does kind of offset some of my, my supplies. Um, the envelopes, I can buy a box for $4.98. The stamps, you know, that helps offset my, the stamps is a wash because it's a 55 cent stamp. I paid 55 cents. So that extra 30 cents does help out for, um, for my envelopes costs. Um, really, I'm not making that extra money shipping um, towards the card, uh, just more to help me out with my shipping supplies. So that really, it's a benefit to you and it's a benefit to me because I'm not raking you, but I am still helping me pay towards my, my supplies. So hopefully this helps guys. Um, I know there's been other videos out there, but that's just how I do it. I've been really successful with it. And like I said, other than people out there that are just trying to scam, I've had three instances, like I said, out of hundreds. And I think those individuals, they, they've since then, once I refunded, I, you know, I send a little message, you know, hope you enjoyed the card. Um, but I end up blocking those individuals, especially when you don't even attempt to reach out to me asking about the card. You just go right to eBay saying, I didn't get it. I want a refund. Um, I, I just have questions about that in my personal opinion. So, um, I, in it guys, I'm basic, I'm simple. Um, I do have bubble envelopes. What I do like about eBay is you earn up enough credits. Um, I earned up enough credits to get, um, eight and a half by 12 bubble envelopes from eBay. I think I got 50 of them or 25 of them. And it cost me 41 cents because I have enough credits built up. Uh, so that, that's a, that's a nice to me because it, it it's basically, it's a reward for spending, um, but then it also helps me out with my costs to ship out to you guys. So I, I do ship out priority mail. Um, I just go right through the eBay um, and have it ship, you know, printed out so you get the little shipping discount. Um, but the stamps.com, I could ship from there if I wanted to as well. Um, same cost as if uh, there's the discount for eBay. Um, quite honestly, I've compared them. It is. Uh, I'll ship out my uh, GMA and SGC through stamps.com like on my video last night. So guys, hopefully you've appreciated this or you've enjoyed it or you found it helpful. Um, continue watching the NBA playoffs. I'll have another video coming this week. Um, we'll discuss uh, the NBA playoffs more detail as the second rounds are starting to get there. We'll see what happens tonight with game seven with the Rockets. Um, you know, Celtics, Raptors games, uh, halftime as I'm doing this right now. So as always, guys. Give us a follow. We appreciate those who have subscribed. If you haven't, please do so. It's free. Hit the little bell so you can be notified. We appreciate your support. Stay safe. Stay healthy. We'll see you next time. Thanks.